Windows 8 Forums video production. Visit us at windows8forums.com. Hello there and good morning. First of all, I'd like to thank you for visiting windows8forums.com. Thank you so much, in fact. Please be sure you have completely read our Terms of Service Agreement at http colon forward slash forward slash windows 8 forumscom forward slash TOS. Don't forget about our privacy policy designed to protect your security at windows 8 forumscom forward slash articles forward slash privacy dot HTML. This video is designed to show you how to get started. Many of our questions can be answered here in Frequently Asked Questions. And I'm just going to click on that real quick and show you. And you'll get a lot of answers to how to use uh, the bulletin board system, how to properly use the search system. And this is very uh, useful for you. We've also added our own entries in here that you may want to uh, read about how to assign computer specifications to your account once it's created. Specifically in this video, I'm going to give you a bit of a history about the website. I'm also going to show you how to register. Let's get started on the registration bit, shall we? Registration on Windows8Forms.com is absolutely free. You only need to be mindful of our terms of service policies as well as our privacy policy. We will never sell your email for profit, for instance, or give it away to a third party uh, that is not around to assist us with improving the services for the website. In other words, we've never given out email addresses and we never will. Uh, by speaking or listening to me, uh, my name is Mike. I am the owner and founder of a network of websites and Windows 8 Forms is the latest creation in that network. Let me show you how to register. First, you want to click on the register button or go to register.php on the website. Now, you can use Facebook Connect if you have a Facebook account, and this will streamline your registration. It'll make it very quick and very simple. And you can always then connect with Facebook. If you don't do it now, you're just adding extra steps, but you can always connect with Facebook later on and link your existing account to your Facebook account. You also get some added features like the ability to syndicate uh, messages to your Facebook account. I'm going to create a account username. That username can be numbers, letters, spaces, but nothing else. For example, if I create Michael or I'll put down, let's see, I create Mike Farah that is going to be available. However, if I put a, let's see, an exclamation mark there, it is not going to be available. This is to prevent strange characters from being inputted into our database. You have no idea how useful that is. <laughs> it's actually uh, very important that we uh, sort of demand that you create a, a normal account here. And I'm also going to give myself uh, an address of, uh, oh, I'm sorry, a password here. And we have to create the password and confirm that it is the same password twice. I'm going to enter my email address. And right now, this is going to be admin at windows8forums.com. Oh, it's very important that you provide a valid email address and this is because all of our registrations require that you are able to validate your email address so that we know that you are not a spam bot and that you will not abuse our uh, services once you are registered. Now this is reCAPTCHA. This is also human image verification. It, the service actually helps the translation of books as well. So you're going to get a nonsense word either at the beginning or the end. This in fact is which R-Y-T-H-S-S. -S. And 
set our time zone, we'll receive email from administrators. This is a new option. It allows you to determine if you want to see advertising on the site. Use this option to turn the display of all website advertising and sponsorships on or off. Please consider that advertising is used to keep the website online at all times. As such, we ask that you strongly consider leaving the option on. It can be changed at any time. So after reading that, I'll leave it on. Most people will probably turn it off, however. All right. We've read and agreed to our forum rules. Don't forget to actually really read them. No software piracy, spam, unlawful activity, privacy invasion, copyright infringement, hacking, denial of service, conduct, abnormal behavior, flame baiting, personal attacks, vulgarity, deception, harassment, multiple accounts, forum attacks, repetition, incoherent post, post counting, hate speech, argumentative behavior, inappropriate media, all of that is against the forum rules. And you also agree to the Digital Millennium Copyright Act. And anything you post on the website um, becomes a part of the website's uh, material that we can edit or change or what have you. All right, so once that's agreed to, we go to complete registration. And let's see, what did I miss? Let's zoom out here a bit. Looks like I failed the recapture, didn't I? Oh, the email address is already in use. Whoops. Um, we'll just have to use a generic one. Okay. Re enter our password. All right, thank you for registering, Mike Farah. All email has been dispatched to staff at windows 7 with details on how to activate your account. Click here to return to where you were previously. You will receive an email in your inbox. You must follow the link in that email before you can post on these forums. Until you do that, you will be told that you do not have permission to post. Now, this is evident and very true. As you see, um, I'm being told that I need to verify my email address. An email was sent. If I didn't get one, I have to click here to try again. Uh, what I'm going to do right now is check my inbox. And here we go. Action required to activate membership for Windows 8 forums. I'll complete my registration right here by clicking on this link. My registration is now complete. I can customize my profile. I can modify options, uh, all from the user control panel. So if I go to the user control panel here, I have a number of options, including the ability to actually, indeed, customize my profile. If I click on my name here, for instance, I can go here and literally customize my profile with all different colors and so forth and so on. So people will be able to see something entirely different uh, when they log in as me. There's also an activity stream, status changes. I can set my own status. I can add friends, uh, for instance. And I can fill out all of this information, including computer information that will be very valuable. Uh, if I have a technical support problem, for instance, this will be viewable. Uh, when I go ahead and post messages. And these are all optional, mind you. They do not have to be filled out necessarily. That's how you register on the site, ladies and gentlemen. And I'd like to give you a rundown about how you post very quickly. First, go to forum. Um, for example, you can check Windows Help and Support. Um, you can go to Beta Builds and Leaks. You could go to post new thread and all you have to do is start typing. Don't forget to search for what you're looking for first. The best way to do this is go to advanced search. You can search on pretty much anything. So for example, if I search on Windows 7 June release, because there's going to be a release of Windows 7 in June, 
Uh, yeah. And we have possible timeline information, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. In fact, this was posted quite a while ago. There's information about a Windows 8 beta in June of 2011. A little bit out of date there. <laughs> this is from uh, last year. So, But the search engine does work very well. If that does not work well for you, you can always check Google search and it'll actually search both sites, both windows8forms.com and windows7forms.com for the information you may be looking for. You can also check out our videos, our Google page, our Facebook page. I encourage you to join all of that stuff to get fully integrated into our site and to meet all of our moderators, our administrative team, um, uh, and all of our members on this site. This is a fairly new site, so let me go ahead. Um, Windows8Forums.com is an open discussion community for information regarding Microsoft Windows 8. It is part of a forum network consisting of Windows7Forums.com, which has served over 35 million unique visitors. With approximately 200,000 messages as of February 2011, Windows7Forums.com has over 1 million unique pages of discussion. The primary goal of the website is to facilitate open, unbiased, and free communication. Under these conditions, new ideas are welcomed and not shunned. Skill level is of little importance in comparison to dedication and openness. Windows 8 Forums will continually seek to be an information repository and archive that will be maintained for future use. The guiding principle of the forum compels it to never delete a message unless absolutely necessary to protect the fundamental rights of free expression of its members and to expand into a community of technology enthusiasts. The vision of Windows 8 Forums has always been to promote a global community of computer users seeking information, online friends, and duty-free support. The website stays in operation from advertising revenue, user contributions, and software sale commissions. As a business, Windows8Forums.com is a registered member of the Microsoft Partner Network.